Today we are going to be talking about how to create a bubble shader or you can say a soap bubble and it's fairly simple to do and there's also one preset if you want in the Arnold stand surface I've already talked about it uh, but if you want to create the whole material by your hand then let's understand some few options and parameters first of all let me show you my scene I just have a simple sphere and that's it no lighting no nothing at all let me show you my IPR and if I turn this uh, run my IPR you'll see nothing if I take a sky dome light I have a flat surface and that's it shader which is a default lambert so uh, first of all I'm going to delete this and instead I'm going to take a physical sun in sky right now it's looking good I'm going to go back into my main camera and turn off my grid so there are a couple of things that we have to understand first of all apply a new material go to Arnold and standard surface there you go now since we are creating a bubble material which has a transparent values obviously we are going to turn off our diffuse now the next thing we have to dive into is making the roughness value completely zero because bubble has no roughness values the next thing we have to understand is making sure the IR value is set to 1 and that's it now right now you'll probably see complete black matte object and that's perfectly fine don't worry about it go to transmission and make the value 1 okay and we are going to keep the color to complete white next thing as I said uh, if you're creating a transparent object make sure your opaque is turned off right now we're good to go so i'm going to call this bubble and as i said we don't see anything and the reason is because to create a bubble what we have to understand is this thin film and thin film in first parameter we have a thin film basically controls the overall soapy look that you can say uh, you get on something like a multi-tone car paint and a beetle shader if you see a couple of beetle the prismatic effect that beetle has on their surface is similar to thin film so the thickness value controls the minimum and maximum thickness of that geometry so i'm going to make this value to around 270 which is perfect when it comes to creating a soap bubble now you see something right uh, now the ir value is set to 1.5 which is the value of a glass and if i make this 1.3 it is a value of water 1.333 and if I want to create a bubble the default value should be around 1.4 if you have no idea about the IOR you can go to Google and just search a random IOR values for anything like diamond crystal or anything and you'll find a couple of IOR values and just use them to make sure your shader is perfect the last thing we have to do is as I said in the earlier video if you're creating anything relatable to a very thin wall you have to turn on thin wall without this your material won't be perfect and now as you can see we have a perfect bubble shader so I'm going to select my sky and I'm just going to rotate this just a little downwards and also in the transmission value I'm going to make the samples too just to make it I think that's too much I'm going to make it 1.2 and let's go to physical sky let me just turn this down yeah let's make it a little bit warmer uh, and I'm going to rotate this somewhere around yes something like this so we have nice uh, sunlight coming from the right side yeah perfect so now as you can see we have a perfect bubble shade though you can also apply this same technique on anything on your custom geometry you can definitely play around with uh, thin film and geometry thin wall uh, but there's one more important thing to keep in mind when you're creating a bubble shader and that is creating the coat Now right now the coat is set to zero that means it's not working at all and coat is something you can assume as uh, Extra reflectiveness on your surface it uh, Usually it is comparable to a dielectric reflectiveness. So if I make this one You'll get a perfect bubble So uh, make sure your IR value is somewhere around like 1.3 and this will like give you the perfect bubble effect let me just switch the test resolution to 100% uh, now 
in the render settings when you're rendering something like this uh, for example a bubble make sure you have a lot of values on your like around six we don't actually need need any diffuse we do need specular so i'll keep this and transmission to four and four no subsurface scattering volume indirect uh, no. and in the ray depth uh, enough values on our transmission we also don't need any values on our diffuse so this will be if i make the specular 10 a 2 we have a perfect 10 value of total now you're good to go yeah now if your bubble scene looks a little bit grainy or noisy make sure to increase the samples on your transmission and camera that's it all right so i hope you like the video enjoy creating custom bubble changes